Congratulations on taking this serverless learn course. By now you've learned everything from integrating Auth0 with backend APIs, to how to create those backend APIs, and set up your own frontends with a sign in and sign out functionality, and also how to protect the APIs that you use in those frontends. So what's next for you? Well, the first thing I'd suggest is taking a look at serverless learn and the other courses here on the site. Now, in addition to my course, there's also another full course called Full Stack Application Development on AWS, lots of different tutorials for you to take a look at, and a variety of different guides that you can investigate. Now, DynamoDB and CICD might be good next steps for you, as we use DynamoDB a little bit, but there's a lot more to learn. And CICD will help you get set up using automated deployments inside of our own system in the serverless dashboard. You might also consider signing up for a serverless dashboard account if you haven't already. This is going to let you do everything from structure your applications into different organizations and applications and their subsequent services. You also set things up in different stages depending on if you work with that CICD tool or have different stages you deploy to. And from there you can do things like monitor your different functions, search for the different indications that you're looking for, and start to debug those and optimize your functions in the serverless dashboard. Now you'll have everything you're used to in terms of logs if you've used CloudWatch before, that'll be shown below, but you can also set up things like profiles, which will help you learn how to deploy to different stages, set up different safeguards to protect your applications, or different parameters to make sure that you're loading in the correct environment variables that you want to be working with. Now there's a lot more in the serverless dashboard, including things like setting up CICD on your services, so that whenever you make a change inside of your local directory and commit and push it to something like GitHub, you'll be able to see those changes reflected and pushed live into a build that will then update your entire application. You can also review those logs and take a look at the details of what's happening. After you try a serverless dashboard account out, it's going to make it a lot easier to practice building more backend functionality. You can use additional APIs or more AWS services as they're needed for your applications, and then maybe even keep iterating on your front ends that you've been building. Now, if you want a place to talk with the community about serverless, check out the serverless Slack. You can join this at serverless.com Slack and ask any questions that you have as you're starting this process. Now, if you want to ask me any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at FMC underscore SEA. And I'd love to hear your feedback about the course and any ideas that you have for future learning materials that you think might be useful. So congratulations again, and I hope to hear from you soon.